Hi guys, CJ Pearson here for Western Journalism, and here today I'm here to talk about Russia. Russia, 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 seemingly the biggest enemy of the left these days, and the most damning thing of it all is that it's been quite a few weeks since November 8th, but yet the liberals continuously refuse to accept responsibility for their loss. They blame it on fake news, which actually isn't even fake news, it's simply news they don't agree with, and now they're blaming it on Russia. And now President Obama's opened an inquiry right before he leaves the Oval Office into whether or not Russia acted in a way to sway the election in the favor of Mr. Trump, the president-elect. Now, here's the thing. Regardless of whether or not you think they actually did it, which actually isn't confirmed or even hasn't been confirmed by any intelligence official on the record, but even if you think that, what really is Russia guilty of? Giving the American people more information than they would have had if they didn't do what they did? Because here's the thing. Let me put it into perspective. The left can complain all day long. They can complain that this wasn't fair. They can complain that it wasn't good for their candidate. But here's the thing. Here's the case I'm going to make as a boy who cares about my democracy, who cares about this country, and who cares about America and the generations who are going to suffer under Hillary Clinton presidency. Without people hacking into the DNC and the emails of John Podesta, we would have never known that Hillary Clinton has a set of private and public policy positions. The American people would have never known that. So we would have never known that Hillary Clinton uh, spoke of Catholics in a very demeaning and uh, just disparaging way. We would have never known all of that. So I'm sorry that the party of transparency, the Apparently, the Democratic Party is a bit mad because of the fact that there was too much transparency in this past election. I, I am sorry that people saw right through your candidate. They saw right through her cronyism. They saw right through her corruption. They saw right through the pay-to-play that she led under the State Department. They saw through all of it. It was exposed by someone who seemingly cares more about this country and the democracy that we are built upon than the Democrats, than the left, and then Hillary Clinton herself. So you can sit here all day long and blame this on Russia. Russia, Russia, Russia. Or you can blame it on the fact that you ran the most corruptly dishonest and just downright incompetent candidate that America has ever seen for the past, for, for, from in modern history, to be completely blunt in modern history. Take your L, go home, and shut up. This isn't about Russia, but this is about you. The fact that you left Americans behind, you failed on November 8th, and now we have a new president. A president who will make America great again and put America first, working with everyone that President Obama just wasn't competent enough to work with from day one. Thank you, and God bless you. God bless America, and let's do our part to make America great again.